Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. Welcome to another ZX Spectrum versus Commodore 64 comparison video, as I like to call it, Playground Wars. And once again, we'll be looking at a home conversion on said systems of a very popular Sega arcade machine of the time. Now this came out in the arcade in 1991, it's Alien Storm, it's a sequel to Alien Syndrome which came out in 1986 and was kind of a top-down gauntlet clone inspired by Aliens. This is still inspired by Aliens but it's a side-scrolling shooter in the vein of Golden Axe with into the screen shooting levels kind of like in the vein of uh, Operation Wolf, only with well, laser guns, and um, basically you don't use a light gun. It was absolutely amazing back in the day. Everyone absolutely loved it. It was just, we always called it like the future, you know, sci-fi golden axe. It was ported by Sega themselves onto the Mega Drive, and I have an arcade versus Mega Drive home comparison. This was released by US Gold on all the usual suspects back in the day, uh, Amiga, Atari ST, Commodore, Spectrum, and Amstrad. But, and here's the worrying bit, it was coded by Teartex, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Screen. Tear texts were odd in the sense that more often than not they're remembered as being pants but every now and then they did turn out uh, or churn out I should say very good home conversions. I'm running this as a tap file so I will be skipping the multi-load sections by simply having to press space for your convenience. I want to say it was a 1 to 8k game only back in the day. I'm not sure. Let's press space. There you go, turn to side. My God, the things we had to put up with back then. All oh, you kids today are so lucky. Shake harder, boy. Points for the quote. Well, there you go. That's a lovely title screen. It's pretty much the same as the arcade. In Spectrum 8-bit glory. And we have 1 to 8K music. But we don't have it in the game. Ah, hang on. M. Off. On. Does that mean we got it in the game? The sound effects are just your standard tinny spectrum. I think someone um, screwing up their foil hat. That's the only way I can think of it. But yeah, it is one or two simultaneous, which once again on the spectrum, much like uh, when I recently did um, Altered Beast, it's really, really impressive. That tune's pretty good, actually. Really, really, really good. Right, uh, space, right, uh, one player, start, Q up, A down, O left, P right, space, far. There are ways you can do your roll and your jump, but I really don't know how you do your special weapon. Right, one. There we go. Gordon, mm, most unspace marine name ever. Does look like the arcade, it is monochromic. Scooter, the crappiest robot name ever. And Carla. Guess we don't have to worry about their clothes being the wrong colour on the Spectrum version, eh? But there you go. But hey, it's, you know, two player. That's impressive. We'll go with Gordon for the purpose of comparisons to the arcade, even though we're doing the Spectrum and Commodore. Bottom left is my life and my energy. And obviously, yeah, interesting. You get energy to a life. We've got music and sound effects. It is 1 to 8k. And that's Cookie Dough. So you got your, your laser wand. Right now, if you press down and fire at the same time, he does that. If you press up and fire, he does that. And then there is there's a dash, but I can't remember what it was. But, you know what? Now you're thinking, oh, monochromic. All I'm gonna say before we get to the guys pressing the wrong bloody key, the Commodore version, is look at the size of the sprites. I think this is actually pretty impressive. You gotta remember that more often than not, monochrome was the easiest way to do these games. They probably could have done a version that was colored like Golden Axe. But I don't know how tight their development time was because US Gold was a bit pants like that. Get it out for Christmas so it can be a hit and we can make some money and shit. I think he just threw me across the screen. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's so difficult to hit them. Anyway, I've got five credits. It's quite generous like that. Right, don't move. Just keep hammering fire. Scrolling. Scrolling's all right. Interesting to see if you got your running stage. I have done a gameplay on this years ago. I can't remember what the into the screen stages would be like, so that should be quite impressive. Impressive. Sean Connery again. Now, obviously, you don't have the intro from the arcade, which is kind of cool. Where we're selling alien burgers because we're alien busters. Yeah. Worryingly, does that mean the aliens we bust we put into the food chain? 
I don't know. It's probably no worse than the horse meat scandal a few years ago that ended up in lasagna. Who remembers that? Points for that. You've got your gun, then, your little pistol. Right. There is something kind of nice about these foil crackling effects. And your enemies resemble the arcade. you got to remember, 128k or not, for the memory for keeping the levels in and stuff like that. That still looks like the Cosmalian Syndrome. Yeah, that's... You know, with the graphic output on it is basically it's no different than the 48k one, is it? So, as I always like to say, this is no, this is smaller than your thumbnail on Facebook. That's energy. Oh, yeah, energy drinks. Better hope he's over 18 because you wouldn't be allowed to have them now, would you? Oh, the government. Running everyone's life. Apart from Gordon's because he's a badass Marine. Yeah. Alright. Well, I mean, it would be nice if they kind of morphed around a bit more than that, because I'm sure they turned into something in the arcade, not just the ones in the bins. The rubbish bins. It's a bit fickle. That's, you know, that, that background's accurate. It is a bit fickle about lining yourself up to shoot them. What was that? Stuck his hand up Thundercat's hoe and shit. I don't know what it's doing. What's that doing? Do you know all in all? This is reasonably impressive. It's not energy drink. It's not altered beast impressive. But hey, I forgot about that. But you know, sprite size, detail of sprites. Yes, it's monochromic. I quite like monochromic. I liked it when they tried a bit harder with colour. But you know, there's a charm to the spectrum's monochromic sprites. And yeah, they look nice. They look really nice. Technically, if they're hiding in bins, am I going to get the biggest, you know, fine off the council for destruction of local government property? I've seen Ghostbusters. I know how, like, the heroes always get fucking billed and shit. Whoosh. How do... Maybe you can. Does anyone know? Never read it back in the day. We're going inside. Yeah, uh, how do you do your, like, cool down... Your power-up, basically. You know, your golden axe magic. That's kind of cool, simply because, turn the music off, you can destroy everything. That's pretty impressive. I mean, when you say well, Operation Wolf looks better, but Operation Wolf is one game engine, isn't it? This is mixing it up with two. Sexy. I can't remember the skulls like that in the arcade. Oh, energy drink. Does that mean I'm stealing now? Oh my God, I'm a dirty thieving bastard. I guess you can just call it killing alien scum tax. Even though I've completely destroyed their shop. I'm really impressed with that. Interesting to see what that looks like on the Commodore 64 version. But yeah. Oh, energy drink. My god, I must be absolutely fucking wired now. I'm literally pissing caffeine. That's my stream. That's not my gun you're seeing right now. I've downed so many enemy drinks. Enemy drinks? Energy drinks? <laughs> Yeah, I'm flowing like a mofo. That is impressive. Really, really impressive. Just remember what it's trying to do. Obviously, I don't know why I always feel like that. Like, I have to defend the spectrum. I don't like people saying bad things about it. But hey, that's what happens when you grow up with one. You automatically, there's a law. They make you sign a piece of paper before you buy it, which is, do you promise to become a spectrum fanboy? They make you put your hand on your heart and swear. I do. I swear to the mighty Sir Clive. I'll shut up in a minute. I'm talking utter nonsensical bollocks. But yeah, this this is really, really impressive. I haven't hit anyone for bloody ages. Energy drink. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Come on, last one. Yeah, he's the boss then, is he? Can I get him above? No. Oh, that's a bit shit. I've got to shoot him for the gap. He's still got some uh, beans in him, mind. Well, you friggin' well die already. I'm obviously missing a trick here. Do I shoot a bit? It's not the shit. No, he was dying outside, wasn't he?
So, yay! He's dead. That's actually pretty impressive for the Spectrum. Let's have a look at the Commodore 64 version, methinks. So here we go with Alien Storm on the Commodore 64. I'm running this through emulation through Frodo on my Wii because for some reason it doesn't want to work on my Commodore 64 Mini. That's kind of interesting. It's a nice title screen, but the split is in the wrong place. I'm guessing this is by tear text. Why would you do that? Why would you put it horizontally and not vertically? Anyway, we've got lovely, lovely Sid Chip music on the title screen. It's a given that the music on this is going to beat the Spectrum version. But does it have... I don't know why they did that. That's really... I know that might sound a bit overkill in these, how we compare these games. That's, that's disappointing. Right. Um, does that lovely slap noise as well when it shuts. Anyway, Spectrum wins that one. Right. Start. Okay. Holy cow, that screen's ugly. It's got colour, I'll give it that. So, Gordon, no, Kayla, Gordon, Scooter. I don't know. It might be someone else. I can't see. They're either very far away or just very small. Um, I guess we'll go with Gordon. That's really disappointing. There is a nice Terminator vibe about that, and it is simultaneous to play if you want it. Nice Terminator vibe about the music. Right, which is still nice. Uh, health, life, bottom left. No in-game sound effects. You're not as small as the title screen, but you're still pretty small. Right. Down and fire is roll. Up and fire is jump like a mad bastard. Uh, that means go right. It's nice music, it's nice and colourful, it's too small. Look at his if I go like this. Oh, right. Right, well they're easier to destroy than the Spectrum version, so it's said that out loud. They look less cookie dough because they don't have chocolate chips, but... I don't know, I just, I just don't get on with games that don't have sound effects. On the Commodore, I, I should check the title screen. That's very Dawn of the Dead in the mall. I would take sound effects, particularly in a game like this, I do like that strut. That's normal. That's strut. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take sound effects in, in fighting games like this. It just feels, I don't know, like you're progressing. But damage is being done. What the hell is that? He looks nothing. He spoke, oh, he's a tree. Right. The enemies in this game are rubbish. Spectrum wins that. Obviously the music is just wins in this one. It's not very alien, storm or future sci-fi fighty type music, is it? I mean, the backgrounds are alright, they're just not as detailed as I would like, as are the sprites. Well, are uh, not as detailed as I would like. I mean, obviously the colours an absolute win in this. And it's two-player. He's cool, actually. It looks like one of those things from, um... The minions, when they go evil. The purple things. I should know that, because I like the minions. Come here. Right, energy drink to the future again. Let's get loaded on caffeine and sugar. Oop. And taurine. Ball extract, basically. Hence Red Bull. This is just underwhelming. Very underwhelming. I mean, I know taste is subjective, and there's probably a load of you out there, as there all normally are in these gameplay videos, which is why I do it and ask your opinions, because obviously I am swayed to the specky side, even though I do, you know, side with the Commodore from time to time. Oh, loading times. That's poor, compared to the specky. Well, to be fair, actually, I did load, didn't I? I do it at home. Yeah, I do, you know, sometimes side. Uh, sorry, sometimes, you know, um, yes, yeah, side with the Commodore 64, but I like to know what you think. Maybe you look at this and think it's magnificent. Uh, I like the colour, I really do. I'm not sh so much sure about my laser gun. I guess that's more in line with the arcade. Um, we're energy drink, who moves? We're not destroying anything. That's weak. That's very weak. Oh, that's disappointing. Do you know what? Detail, sharpness, spectrum, music, Commodore, colour, Commodore. Level length? Maybe that could be down to the fact that I was crap at the Spectrum version, but that was very short and or disappointing. The level length is not comparable. 
and yeah, I, I, I have a slightly disappointing feeling left in my heart. We'll have to have a look at the next stage though, which we never got to on the Spectrum, which I believe is the running stage. No, nope. I don't know the level layout. That might be because the Mega Drive layout was different. Same music. Oh, oh dear. Different aliens. Once again, the, the Commodore's downfall seems to be, why can we only have two aliens on the screen, or two sprites on the screen at the same time? We had it in Altered Beast. Um, what else did we have it in? I'm trying to think of other comparison games I've done. Double Dragon. Oh, I didn't do that as a comparison, I just played it on the Commodore 64, but yeah. What, what, what is it? I mean, I was never grew up with the Commodore, so maybe you can answer to me, but I'm going to round up here. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to know what you think, and if you disagree, that's cool, because we're all here to have our own subjective opinions. I think the Spectrum absolutely energy drink pisses all over this version. But yeah, let me know what you think, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.